President Obama mentioned China in his speech when he talked about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. To discuss this, we're joined by Liu Yufa in Beijing. He is the former president of the China Institute of International Studies. Let's start with China's reaction to Obama's speech. How do you think it's being received there in Beijing? Well, it is. Uh, we've been uh, watching his uh, State of the Union address with uh, great interest uh, with regard to the relations between China and the United States. Uh, since the year 2008, the leaders of the two countries and the leaders of the two governments have been working uh, together in terms of uh, addressing many uh, challenging issues. So uh, in his uh, last State of the Union address, we, uh, we were expecting uh, you know, something of his uh, blueprint about the relations uh, between the two countries in the future. And first, uh, in the uh, political area, the two governments have stepped up uh, in cooperation in terms of uh, global governance. I think we've uh, two countries have reached quite a few uh, achievements. In the bilateral economic relations, we have about 90-some dialogue uh, uh, mechanism which have uh, cemented the bilateral relations, we understand. At the moment, the uh, U.S. is entering its new political cycle. As a result, the China bash scenarios are popping out from all the candidates. Uh, as we could see also in the State of the Union address, he mentioned uh, Ch uh, China's name three times, but not in the uh, bilateral relations, but in the international context. I think it's a kind of a typical uh, political rhetoric. rhetoric rhetoric, excuse me, uh, ready for the consumption of the domestic uh, uh, audience. Well, and, and just, on the just, whole, just to kind of yep. piggyback off what you're saying there, the domestic audience playing to that domestic audience in his address, he said, quote, yep. with TPT, China doesn't set the rules in that region. We do. Uh, again, kind of, uh, as you said, uh, aiming towards that domestic audience, I would suspect. But I think uh, with regard to the, even to the TPP, no country can achieve economic or no country can achieve sustainable economic growth without the involvement uh, of China. TPP definitely is leaving China out. Uh, as TPP is uh, covering the uh, cross-Pacific uh, region, I think it's a kind of uh, scenario which uh, U.S. and China have to deal with it. Uh, China, the economic partners, the first the largest, the second largest economy, but uh, we too are not having together in the same boat. That is the problem, which has to be resolved sooner or later. Uh, Obama also referred to the United States as the most powerful nation on earth. How do you think China is going to take that? Well, as uh, President Xi Jinping and the Chinese government uh, have both uh, stated on many occasions, U.S. is the number one power. China does not challenge the current status quo in terms of the uh, global governance mechanisms. China does not want to challenge the U.S. position as a number one. So what China is seeking is the kind of a new type of uh, state relations as agreed by President Obama and uh, President Xi Jinping during their previous meetings on the bilateral the multilateral issues. This is the issue. No one wants to challenge the U.S. superpower positions now, not in the future. Yeah, that uh, was ironed out, I guess, at Sunnylands, as you pointed out. Uh, thanks so much for your observations. Certainly appreciate you joining us from Beijing.